Hey there guys, in today's video, I have a problem posted in this video. What is the best solution that you can come up with? Let me know in the comments. Hey there subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me Vivs here from Corsetro.com and today I'm going to generate a puzzle for my game called Zup in JavaScript. This is Zup by the way, you can go to Facebook and search for it and you'll find it there. It's a game and I'll talk more about it in the upcoming videos but in this video let's talk about how to build the puzzle. The puzzle is pretty simple. If I give the input number like 149 the output should be something like this you are at a you then jump to b which is one step then you jump to f which would be c t e f four steps and if you jump to o finally which would basically be your nine steps that is g h i j k l m n o nine steps now of course i did not write that here i need to go and say then jump to o and how many steps did you jump and if you click run, you can see the output here. So we want to generate a puzzle of this sort. Now here's the funny thing. This puzzle has to be absolutely random. You understand? 149, the number, the starting point can be anything. It could be A, it could be Z, it could be O, it could be anything. And the way you jump can be either way. You can jump either left or you can jump either right. So that would be the most interesting puzzle that I have made in a while. And hopefully you guys enjoy solving the puzzle as well when my game Zup is out there. So let's go and build this in JavaScript. So here, let uh, I have a variable at the top called hint here. Notice it's using the let keyword, which is just another fancy way of making variables in JavaScript. Now I'm going to make a function here called hint.generate puzzle or something like that. And just go and click a function here. And we're gonna take the input number in this function. Now the number obviously can be given both ways, right? It could be a string, it could be a number itself. Let's say generate puzzle here and just call that and pass 149. Now this is a string version of that. Now if I remove the quotes and if I pass it, it's going to be the int version or number version of that. So what I wanna do is take the number in the first step, convert that to a string. So I'm gonna say number equals to number dot to string and I'm going to split this into an array. Now, of course, you can convert, say, JS string to array. If you just search for it, there's a split method right there, and you can take a look at that in W3 schools. This method is covered in detail there. So I'll just say dot split here and pass the character as nothing, just empty goes. Let's go ahead and print this in the first step. Say console dot log, put number there, click run, Look at that, 149. Now notice that these are string literals inside the array bracket. Now we want numbers to actually work with everything. So we'll have to do something about that, right? So there you go. We first go in and make the alphabets A to Z. The starting point where it says you are at A, this could be anything. It could be anything from A to Z. So we need alphabets for that. Let's say, let alphabets here and make an empty array. Now I'm just going to have a for loop that goes from 65 to 91, I guess, 90, right? I less than equals to 90, I plus plus. And I'm going to simply go and add the item inside the for loop. I can just say alphabets dot push here, and I can say I. And of course, I have to print the log here by saying console dot log. I'll just print alphabets over there. And let's see what happens. Look at that. I wrote the spelling incorrectly. That's why it's giving me an error. That's a good thing. Click run and I should be able to see all the numbers. 65 to 90. Now what I don't want is these numbers. What I want is the character values. Again, I'll just say J is number to character maybe, I guess. There you go, integer to its sequence. So this method string dot from char code does the job. Look at that, you put 65 inside, you get A outside. So we are gonna use that method here by saying string dot from care code and just pass I inside. Click run and boo yeah, we have A to Z right there. Now what we want is one random starting point from these 26 letters over here. So we are gonna go and we are gonna have our math dot random function. So let's remove the alphabets here. And let's just write math.random, which is just like any other language you guys have been using all this time. 
So this is just going to give us a number like 0.67. Look at that, between zero to one, but it does not include one. So that is a very important thing you gotta keep in mind. Now if I go and multiply this by alphabets dot length, I should be getting something like 14.27, 0 0.99, okay. Now what we wanna do is floor this number, right? So we say math dot floor here, which means 3.6 becomes three. There you go, floor and put this entire thing inside and now you click run and we have the index. 15, 21, 24, 18, look at that. 26 or 25, which is the, whichever is the last index for Z should be coming up as well. So let's go and convert this thing to a index here saying starting index over there and store that number there. And let's say starting alphabet here is alphabets of starting index, right? Pretty simple, just put starting index inside and let's print the starting alphabet and find out what happens. N, L, L, R, B, C, G, W, wow, Z is there. That means it works perfectly, right? So look at that, it's completely random starting point here. Now, the next important part is making these jumping things over here. So the jumping can happen in both directions. It can be either left side or it can be right side. Now the thing that you gotta remember is if you are at A, you cannot jump to the left side because there is nothing on the left. If you are at Z, you cannot jump to the right side. That is the condition out there. So what we are going to do is we are going to print all the numbers by saying for let i in a number, this is i of number, I'm using a for of loop in JavaScript right now. Let i of number and just say console.log i. I think it's going to be a string. Let's see, print that, click run, and there you go, one, four, nine is here, right? Now these are of course uh, string literals if I'm not mistaken. If, if I, I, can, I can say type of i here. I wonder what that gives. Type of i. Look at that, string, string, string. That is obvious. So I'll just go and I type cast it. Say i equals to parse int of i. And this time I guess it should say number, number, number. That's perfectly fine. So now we just go and print those i values here and we get 149. Now we are going to check if the starting point, that is the first number, one, can we go on the left side? Can we go on the right side? Now remember, in the case of A, we can only go on the right side. But in case of a letter like M, you can go either sides. If you go to the left, you land up at L. And if you go to the right, you land up at N, right? So let's go and have something called I over here. And we are going to have the starting index, which was the first step that we had. We're going to see starting index minus i, which would go to the left, starting index plus i, which would go to the right. Let's have a look at that, right? There you go. Starting index L, L is the letter, I think. And 11 is the index for L. 10 would be one on the left, 12 would be one on the right. Now seven would be four on the left, 15 would be four on the right. You get the idea, you click run here. And look at that, boom, there's minus five here. This means that we are at the letter E here and we are trying to go five places on the left, which does not exist, right? There is E, you go to the left on five, that's A, B, C, D, that's four places. The fifth one doesn't exist, so we have a negative thing over here. There you go. But on the right side, if you take a look at four plus nine, that gives you 13, which is what you're seeing in this position. So just for the purposes of demonstration, I skimmed through a lot of these generations and I finally got Z here. Notice that the starting index for Z is 25. If you go one on the left, you get 24. One on the right is 26. And you cannot go on the right, remember? The same way, if you take the number four here, the middle digit four, you can go 21, 29, then there's 9, 16, and 34. So the condition for going both left and right would be simple. If the starting index minus i is greater than or equals to zero, and, and the starting index plus i is less than or equals to 25, that means we can go in both 
directions otherwise if the starting index minus i is greater than equals to 0 only that means we can go in the left direction else we can go in the right direction so that would be a simple way so let's add some console.log statements in all three places and we can just print it out saying that we can go in the left or right now of course we're gonna take these three values that we have here and we're gonna put them down here and we're gonna say left and right let's do the same for the others So this time it's going to be left only and the third time is going to be right only. Let's just print that and there you are. So now let's run and try some iterations. Click run. Look at that. 5, 4, 6. It says left and right. What is the character? It is F. Let me remove this A, B, B, F, F, O and put a new line here so that we can clearly see this. Click run and there you go. So letter is T. We can go left and right by one place, we can go left and right by four places, but we can go left only if you have nine places. The last digit is nine here as you can see and T is basically at position 19 which gives you 19 plus 9, 28 which is greater than 25 and therefore we go to this else condition here. So when we can go either left or right, what we want to do is randomly pick one. Ah, where's the fun if this isn't random, right? So let's go and say int no ints here sorry let random is math.floor and just say math.random into 2 one of those right if you have if random equals to 0 that means we'll go left otherwise we'll go right so we'll just have an else condition here and we'll print these two of course and we are going to say going left in the first console.log statement by saying going left over there and in the second one we'll say going right so now we have a nice dynamic setup over here click run look at that going right going right going left okay all three of them are random that's interesting left only left only we are at Z okay so left only is the word showing up if we are at W it says going right left only left only interesting so if any letter is in between then we have the choice of going both sides and since this is completely random, this is fun, right? Now what we want to do is move to that position, right? We want to take the starting index there as well. Now well, let's do one thing before that. We can remove the starting index minus i and plus i. Now that you understood it, let's remove that. Remove this as well. And we are going to just print the alphabet at the starting index. And we are going to see what it is. So we'll say starting index. Put a comma here and we're gonna say alphabet starting alphabet yeah that's the one starting alphabet over there and of course I'm going to take this with the comma put it here put it here put it here and just oh there's no format here click run so look at that R is the starting point going right going left going right now what we also want to do notice the puzzle it says you are at a you then jump to B so you actually move to B then you jump to F you move to F then you jump to O so each at each step you're actually changing your starting point or starting index it keeps changing so we are going to change that too so we're going to say starting index if random is 0 we're going to say starting index equals to starting index minus I that's an interesting one there you go and we are going to have the same condition for on the right side we're going to just say plus I over here and we are going to copy those conditions similarly for the right and for the left here and now I think we have something completely dynamic we're going to remove the starting index at all places and that will give us just the starting alphabet everywhere so there you go and now let's click run you going right you going left no starting alphabet starting alphabet needs to be changed of course so no it's not starting alphabet here it should be alphabets I need to push I need to print the alphabets of that index, right? The index that I changed. I'm going to say alphabets here and I'm going to say starting index. And I'm going to repeat this everywhere. One, and here's two, there's three, there's four. Okay, click run. Now, look at the puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. We are at W. We move to the left by one position. We go to V. 
we move four positions to the right from V which gives us uh, W X Y Z perfect and then we are going nine positions to the left from Z which is Q which is R S T U V W X Y Z wow look at that puzzle wow look at that that is so dynamic we can just remove these and we can say jump jump to here and we'll just put this string at the start and I think we have a good solution after that so jump to of course we need to copy this we need to just copy this everywhere right let's put there over here and at the end now of course there seems to be some error ah, there it is the comma bam I didn't see that okay now we should run this we are at s we jump to R that is 1 on the left we jump to V which is 4 on the right S T U V then we jump to M which is 9 on the left which is N O P Q R S T U V and the beauty is look at that that is so random that is so random you guys are gonna scratch your heads if you see a puzzle like this and if I ask you what is the number now here's the best part I can change the number to something like 2495 and the puzzle becomes even more amazing look at that look at that the same number with infinite possibilities so in the comments of this video I would like to know your solution that if I give you a number like 2495 or 149 what is the puzzle that you can come up with let's see how smart you really are and as always thank you for watching have a good day and I'll see you in the next video where I talk about Zap. Bye-bye.